Hi guys, this is Mr. Britton from Britton Computer Tech Tutorials. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is to create a turret that will follow your mouse around and uh, shoot. So here's an example of what it'll do. Uh, as you notice, it will rotate around my wherever my mouse is at. I can shoot it. This is going to use a function that's normally only available in the Pro version. This is all done with GameMaker Lite. Uh, normally this image would rotate using something called image angle. But I'll show you how to do a built-in function. Uh, it's going to use a little trigonometry to um, create the correct angle for this image. So let's show you how I did it. First step that I did is that I created a sprite for both my bullet. My bullet was a simple 8x8 sprite, black in color. I centered it and I know named it appropriately. Make sure that you always name your objects. Start with an OBJ underscore and name it appropriately so that you remember what it is. When your game gets big it's real easy to if you just name them object 8, object 9, object 10 and so on. Uh, it gets a little confusing what they are. So always name them appropriately so that they're descriptive for what the object actually is. Do the same for sprites. SPR underscore bullet because it's a bullet sprite. Now my turret I had to do a little bit different on that one. I drew my original sprite and then I used an, I animated this sprite so that it would rotate in 36 total frames. You can animate any sprite by going to this animation tab, go down to rotation sequence and in this uh, effect you need to rotate it counterclockwise and you do it in my case in 36 frames. The reason I've chose 36 frames is so that it would rotate at 10 degree increments uh, in the image preview. If you want it to be completely precise you could even go on 1 degree increments and have a 360 uh, frame image but I think 10 is, is good. It's, it's fairly smooth right there. So that's what it'll end up looking like. Now what we need to do is we're going to create two objects. Let's start with a bullet object. So I pressed the blue, blue ball to create the object, gave it the appropriate sprite, and I basically gave it two events. I gave it a create event. In the create event, I drag in a move towards, move towards action. And the move towards action, it's going to follow your mouse's X and your mouse's Y uh, coordinates. And you do that by using the, the uh, variable called mouse underscore X for the X value and mouse underscore Y for the Y value. And I made my bullet shoot at a speed of 10. You don't want to correct, click relative on this uh, at this time. The other event I used was outside room. And all this does is destroys the bullet, so it destroys self if the bullet goes outside your room. And that just makes it so you don't have a bunch of bullets out in cyberspace eating up your memory. So that's all I got to do for the bullet. It's, it's complete. Now let's go to your turret object. Turret object has three different events. The first one is your create event. You have to set up a variable. So you go to the control tab, drag in a set variable, and it's going to look like this. It's going to apply to self. The variable I simply called it n and I gave it a value of 36. Now why did I give it a value of 36? Because I made my sprite turret have 36 total frames. So and I'll show you why, why we're going to use that variable in a little bit. The next thing I did is I used the global left pressed event. So that's found in add event mouse, go down to global mouse, and it's going to be called global left pressed. So that means every time you press the mouse button, it's going to do the appropriate action. The action we want it to do is to create an instance of an object and we want it to create not a moving instance just the instance of the object it will start moving after it's created on its own as we since we already programmed that bullet so you're going to create an instance of object bullet x and y are both zeros and you check relative so it's created relative to your turrets um, object so it'll create at its uh, origin which I centered in my sprite press OK the third thing is where the magic happens. That's in your draw event. So it only has one action. 
you simply draw the sprite and here's what you end up doing. You're going to draw the turret sprite. The X and Y are going to be zero. Relative is checked and you can't really see all these so I'm going to show you what this uh, uh, formula does.